hi um tim is shooting this video for you uh because i i didn't make these my husband did so uh but it's super highly requested so today's video is going to be about how to make these slide out drawers um these boxes that i store my stamps in are from ikea they're the dragon boxes it usually comes with uh, one of these and then these on top so that's how it comes it's like a three-piece set of dragon boxes and I just find different ways to use them around the craft room to store things but the main box um, I use to store my stamps so I have made these out of file folders they're just I use the tabs that are on the file folders they're not really um, in any type of order unfortunately right now I have to go back through them but uh, I usually store them alphabetically by the company and then inside of it I usually do like something that makes sense and I store um, sets together and things like that but I use the Avriel storage pockets or I've been purchasing them from MFT as well if I place an order with MFT I usually grab some of their pockets they're good quality also and I cut a piece of cheap paper or whatever to store inside the the pocket and label them i was storing them like this like on the side so most of them have the labels on the top and that didn't last no so now i store them like this i still can read what's in there but i would love to have them all with the with the name of the company and on the outside like like this one <laughs> so I don't have that happen to me. Is that, can anyone see that? So I am messing up my own stuff. Anyway, my husband is going to show you how he made these. Uh, I never did finish them. They're not painted. They're um, just wood and whatever material he was using. Uh, but I would like to maybe paint them white. And I want to put some wood filler in there to cover up all the nail holes because he gets a little nail gun crazy but I love it I love how he made them and I want to share it with you well I guess it's time I um I guess I really can't procrastinate anymore you guys have asked for it Corey's asked me for it I'm pretty sure the kids even want me to do it at this point but I'm going to make a video showing you how to make the drawer inserts for the Ikea Collax unit and the, hmm, what's the one from Target? Threshold, I think. Um, I'll give you the measurements for both of those. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. First thing we need is a piece of one by 16. If you can find one by 14, that's fine. Um, but it, it just can't be any smaller than, than 14 inches wide. We need to hit the garage door. We need a piece of one by two a piece of one by three and a pair of drawer slides from the you know cabinet and countertop department of whatever your local home improvement store is but that's it it's just four materials uh, I'm going to be using a nail gun or a screw gun or something to put them together uh, whatever you guys have um, you can use whatever you can use to put two pieces of wood together you can use for this. Uh, you are gonna need a screwdriver to, um, to get these connected to both your project, your drawer, and the unit, whichever one you're putting it in. Um, so if you've got uh, a drill or, you know, worst case scenario, do it with a screwdriver. Uh, first thing I'm gonna be cutting is the one by two, which actually measures three quarters of an inch by an inch and a half. So if you're in your home improvement center looking for it and you're measuring, it's going to be three quarters of an inch by one and a half inch actual size. Uh, I'm actually going to cut it to 14 inches long. I'm going to make two cuts, one at each 14 inches. I'm not real good at this. I, uh, I already cut one, like the next step without being on camera, so I'll recreate it. I'm, I'm really not good at filming without a director. Where are you, Corey? 
So the one by three now needs to get cut to 13 inches if you are doing it in the collax unit and if you are working on the threshold unit you can make this 13 and one quarters inches. Um, I'm building one for the collax unit so I'm going to cut it at 13 and um, but if for you guys if you're doing the one from target the threshold unit you can cut it to 13 and a quarter. So now we're going to lay out the surface for the drawer. Now we're going to lay out the surface for the drawer. Uh, that's going to measure 13 by 14 inches on the 1 by 16 material. Again, that's 3 quarters of an inch thick, um, the 1 by 16 material. We're going to cut that down to 13 by 14, and that's for the, um, for again, for the collax unit from Ikea. 13 by 14 for Ikea's Collax and uh, 13 and a quarter by 13 and 5 eighths are the measurements for the target threshold unit. On the 13 inch piece of 1 by 3 I made a mark one half inch in from either end and struck a line. I'm using a half inch because for the guides or the drawer slides that I, that I got, they need a half inch in width to operate properly. Depending on what guides you get, this measurement may or may not change um, with the product you select. So um, make sure you read the instructions that come with your, with your drawer slides just to make sure that you get this offset at the, in the right position. But now that we've got it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this thing together. You'll be able to start seeing how it comes together here real quick. Also, <laughs> I'm gonna use a nail gun, um, just a small trim gun to go ahead and put this together. If you don't have one, don't feel like you're obligated. You can absolutely do this with, uh, you know, with hammer and nail, pick up some small trim nails and you know, do it together that way. You can screw it and glue it. You can use glue and dowel. You can, you can even use angle brackets on the inside of this stuff to hold it all together. Whatever you feel comfortable with, as long as you've got this kind of layout, you should be able to put it together. Now all we're really gonna do is take the top that we created you get it nestled in on top of the side runners that we just attached to the front piece and you can see that there's this little lip up front. We're going to leave that on purpose. That way when we put something on the shelf and we actuate the, the drawer, it doesn't have a tendency to fly and slide off the front. All right. Now we're gonna take apart your drawer slide. <clears throat> this particular one has a small release in here. You just grab it and pull, your, and pull your extension out. Set this off to the side for now. But really all you need to do is lay this out on the inside rail that we've created. And you're gonna wanna leave a gap <clears throat> that makes your overall just a little tiny bit maybe an eighth of an inch no more you want it pretty tight leave a small gap get your layout to wherever it is again you may or may not be using this style so I want to make sure that you're paying attention to the installation instructions that come with your slides but for this one I've made my mark I'm gonna go ahead and get the and get the inside rail attached to it and then we're gonna go downstairs and get this thing installed Well, maybe, <clears throat> maybe Corey should like, you know, speed through that or something. I don't know. I totally forgot we were on camera. There's the hole. That's where it's going. Real easy tip. Take an extra piece of uh, one by three or one by material, whatever you got some extra of. <clears throat> and put it in here just temporarily kind of flush with the front of the, with the front of the cabinet. It makes aligning your guides much easier if you know how far out they're gonna come. So this way, 
when the door is or when the drawer is closed it'll be flush and that's that So the last thing that I forgot to tell you guys about was this last piece that I add on to each one of the drawers. When you put things on top of the drawer face, even though we have this lip at the front, when you close the drawer without something on the back of it, there's nothing to keep whatever your contents are from shooting to the back of the... Get out of my video! <laughs> the gall. You put that on there to keep your stuff from falling out the back. So when she takes her 4,000 pound dragon boxes full of stamps, they nestle right in. And when she's mad at me and she's slamming stuff around, her stamps don't go anywhere. Have fun.